Taking Guest Orders As you know, order taking is a skillful art which reflects efficiency and standard of both waiter and establishment. And it is important that food and beverage service staff should have good command over order taking. It is to ensure that each guest gets proper food he ordered and most importantly, in right sequence. So, I know that order taking is not an easy task to do. So, for today, I will share some order taking tips. So, here are some food and beverage taking order tips. Number one, give time to guests after his arrival. It is to make them feel comfortable with the environment. Number two, after the guest is seated and feel comfortable, present the menu and stand away to give guests some time to decide what to order. So as a server, you must always remember that don't be hurry. Give guests some enough time to decide. But of course, you must evaluate the guest and understand if they are ready to order. Like for example, if they close the menu or look around, it means that they are ready to order. Number three, approach the guest. So when you feel that the guest wants to order, approach the guest table with a smile and maintain eye contact and courteously ask, May I take your order, ma'am or sir? Or would you like to order now? Number four, ensures that you are fully ready. It means that you must have the materials needed for taking an order, like notepad, a pencil, or a pen. But today, with the new age point of sale systems, orders can be directly taken on handheld devices like iPad, Android tablet, or smartphone. Number five, try to maintain sequence. So although ordering depends on guests, try to maintain sequence. It means that convince the guests to give beverage first before the food. Number six, always focus on what guests order. So, just be yourself and be smart. Stand straight to the left side of the guest and bend slightly forward if needed. Number seven, it is a must for a waiter or server to have full command on the menu items. So, of course, you must focus on what they order because it will make the guest insulted if he has to repeat his order again and again. And it may lead them to think that you are not focusing on what they are saying and it can make them feel unsatisfied. Number eight, show some expertise. Give them some options to choose. So guests may ask different questions, so be prepared for that. So you must know questions like what are the ingredients of the foods, what is the special food of the day, which is not suitable for vegetarians, or foods that are not suitable for different religious people. So as a server, you need familiarity with the food offerings, of course, by memorizing the menu. But as you know, remember that Memorizing the menu is more than just a test. It's a way to serve the guest by offering suggestions, being mindful of ingredients in case a customer has food allergies or specific taste, as well as a way to show how much you know about the restaurant. I know memorizing an entire menu can be a difficult task. However, there are the mix that can help us so don't be afraid so tip number nine it is very important to keep sequence while you present the food so in your note 
notepad, you have to write down both the sequence of the food and the person who ordered. So generally, it is done by clockwise direction. So first, take order from the host and then start following to his right and keep an identification number to each guest. So another way is give them a number to the person who is sitting nearer to the service door or you may plan some coding method by your own for you to easily understand who ordered the food and which food he ordered. Because as a professional server, you should not ask who ordered this food or it will look worst if you place wrong food in front of wrong guest. Number 10. If guests order haphazardly, it is your duty to serve food according to the sequence. So generally, guests order appetizer, then beverage, then main courses, and dessert for the last. Number 11. Give proper time to guests to enjoy their beverage items. So if the glass gets empty, then you can graciously ask him whether he wants replenishment. Number 12. If the guest is in hurry and seek your assistance, then suggest him some ready-to-serve food items rather than cook-to-order items. Number 13. Suggestive selling. So, suggestive selling is a, is a good skill of a waiter. But... If your guest is a couple or student, it is not advisable to suggest hugely expensive foods. And yes, you need to keep increasing your sales, but always remember not to lead your guest in an embarrassing situation because this may hamper repeat guests. You must always remember that know them and suggest the appropriate items for them.